good morning world. We're picking up some fresh sourdough bread. The story's just woken up from a nap, haven't you? Don't want to talk? How about you? Yeah, I'll talk. I've had a nice drive, but I'm sitting in a funny position right now. Why are you sitting like that, Eden? Hmm? That's not very cosy, is it? She was relaxing earlier though, wasn't she, story? <laughs> this shop has been a godsend during the pandemic. It popped up like during the pandemic and it's really served us well. I remember the pure delight of having sourdough bread after months of being stuck on lockdown and not being able to have access to stuff like that. It was like contraband, getting contraband into prison or something for the first time. How are you feeling with your drive today? Okay, yeah. Today. Any puke? No. No puke today? No. I used to puke in the, in, in the car. I puked to me then. And I puked to my baby chair. Yeah, the last time you came in here. But it's all clean now, isn't it? I thought I wouldn't have a baby jail like this. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? Yeah. I, I, I don't like it. I wish I, I, wish I, could, I could give this to another baby. You wish you could give it to another baby? Yeah, it's not very cosy in this. <laughs> we're just it's testing it out. Is it uncomfortable? Yeah. Uh, we're testing it out, aren't we, to see what it's like. The story says her baby chair is uncomfortable. Oh, it's uncomfy today, is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> she goes, I wish I could give it to another baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got everything? Yes. Nice. Ooh, we've just stopped at Kaimana, haven't we? Yes, we have. For a little snacky, brunchy lunch. Jay and I haven't had any food today, so we're a bit peckish after the drive here. Massive bowl of veggie pasta. Yeah. Yum. Sans parmesan. Yeah. You have to ask <laughs> to have no cheese, otherwise it was really cheesy. Yeah. Otherwise, it is a vegan pasta there, and I got a Greek salad, but with no feta cheese. And look what's arrived for you, Story. Your favourite. Yeah. Feta chips. <laughs> And it comes with a baba ganoush and a hummus. I'm sure we've shown this before because we have come here quite a few times, haven't we? Yes, we have. I did actually go for a new drink though, something that I haven't had before. It's a cold brew coffee, but made with coconut water. And it's really good, it's nice. It tastes um, like silky, smooth. <laughs> we were planning to try a new restaurant today called Lamari, but it's shut. Yeah. It's been open all this time. The day we decided to go there, they've closed for renovations or something. Yeah. The sign's gone and everything. That's all right, we like this restaurant anyway. We've just pulled up to the EnviroCare station. It is a recycling station here in General Luna. We have a lot of soft plastics like bubble wrap and some packaging stuff and they accept them here now. So we've bought it to be recycled. Two big bags of plastic and also some glass jars. Off they go. Making sure it doesn't all end up in the sea. Obviously in the UK it's very common to have the recycling collected from your house. They have regular pickups and things like that but here on the island there's nothing like that so it's up to us to take responsibility and recycle it properly. We did show a little while ago in a vlog the Shargao Recycling Centre. That actually has closed down now unfortunately because the building's lease was up and it got taken back. So they are currently looking for a new premises and in the meantime this is taking the plastics. All good? Yeah that was easy. Just drop it off with them and they accepted everything. That's good. Look at all these beautiful yellow bananas today. Wow, big stock. Also, lots of pechai, which are, it's like pak choy. We're gonna get some of that. Cockerels are plenty. Story's doing the shopping today. She is, yeah, okay, that's enough chilies, thank you. I've got an idea, Story. If I put the animals back in the car, then you can use two hands, yeah? Yeah, maybe. All right. Whoa, that's a big heavy pineapple. Oh, okay, I'll give that to the man. Do you want to pick some ginger for me? Can Probably can, do you reckon we need more than one pineapple? I'll give that to man, okay? Okay, yeah, it's close, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of our favourite little fruit and vegetable markets on the island because of a few reasons. 
it's not far from the sea, so it's in a beautiful location. Fruits and vegetables are nice and fresh, and also because they have scallions. These are quite hard to find on the island, so when we do, we always get them. Lots and lots of produce today. We arrived on a good day. There's always kids playing in the street here. Very residential area. You found the cucumbers? If my dad were alive today, he would be laughing at this. <laughs> he always used to laugh at this whenever he came to Asia. He was an architect and he liked a certain degree of order. So whenever he saw like lampposts covered in wires like this, it would just make him crack up. Sasha and I are going to be having a lot of juices next week because it's getting hotter. So we're going to get lots and lots of stuff so we can fill ourselves up with juice. Do you like the look of these ones? Or these ones? I need the little ones. Yeah, the baby ones, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Water. Is that your choice? <laughs> what else can you find? Mmm, coyote. We're also thinking of trying to make vegan kimchi this week, making our own one. So we're going to get some cabbage and some Chinese leaf. Yeah, I'm going to get pop choy though because it just looks a bit nicer at the moment. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, is that the one you want? That looks nice and fresh. Good job. Ethan's chilling out in the car. Woo, big tongue. <laughs> You're a bit hot. Now we're going to get going in a minute. I've got all the doors open for you. We've got a little through breeze going on. It must be really hot to live in this road. Thank you. Shopping list done. But you're going to need some money, Story. <laughs> Salamat. Thank you very much. In it goes. Is that everything we need? So, keep us going for a while. Yeah, did you manage to get all the vegetables, all the fruits? Everything that was on the list, yeah. Do you think one pineapple is enough? Yeah, I don't know like, the quantities to get, so... Probably should have got more. The total cost for the fruits and vegetables came to 959 pesos, which is about 18 pounds. Some of you guys have calculated the price of the fruit and veg here and noticed that it is actually somewhat quite expensive in comparison to even some places in Europe and America. And it's true, we were quite surprised at how much it costs to get fruit and veg on the island. We've gradually gotten used to the prices and the way that we justify it is that pretty much everything that we buy here on the island itself is organic and organic price tags would normally be more expensive in the UK anyway. But don't come to the Philippines expecting the prices to be dirt cheap if you live on an island because a lot of the stuff sometimes has to be grown elsewhere and brought in. And even some of the local produce is in demand, so its price goes up. So there's that to think about. We're just taking a moment to catch a breeze here by the harbour. It's probably one of the coolest places to stand. The story's going down to the beach. Maybe someone going off for an island tour? Just seen this sign here that says Family Picnic Grove, open from the weekend. I mean, it's the weekend for us now, but it doesn't look like anything's on. Maybe they do some kind of event here. They don't normally come this far down on the boulevard. What a life, eh? Guy there just swinging in a hammock, enjoying the breeze. the sea to the jungle. We are heading home now. It feels like we've been out for, uh, for a long day. We had to wait a bit longer for our laundry, a bit longer than normal, so they were really busy today, so that's why we had to hang about a bit more. Did you enjoy your little GL outing? Always, always. It feels like it's been a while since we've done it because we didn't go to Story School this week. I know, yeah, we have. We've been away for a week. <laughs> I am happy to report that Story is fully restored back to health. She is fine again now and she will be going to forest school next week. Mama, yeah, you're all better now? Yeah. Yeah, a good girl. And how was the car drive today? It doesn't do any puking. You didn't do any puking, that was good. I think it was just a one-off, do you think? 
we are almost home now so I'm gonna wrap up the vlog for today when we get in it's gonna be all systems go I'm packing all of the little shopping bits and cooking dinner and stuff like that so I'm gonna end it for today hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow for another one bye do you know I, I I'm a princess so that's why that's why I live in the middle of the earth so that's why bye